going everyone so guys we're out here we got mother nature we got george back there doing some conversating got a customer on the phone sounds like the customer has got a uh engine that may have flooded but um soon we're gonna walk into the garage take a look at his nissan uh 240 uh project but yeah man we out here baby we are out here you guys should know wherever i go my baby goes too so yes sir it's just a sneak peek he's also got this hondo court project uh where he's got another customer that wants to get this accord restored it's gonna get a motor swap and some few other odds and ends to restore this Honda court well, it's definitely something that you want to look out for if you guys are interested in buying a uh, old accord and interested to see the process to restore you know old vehicle definitely need some work i could tell you that for a fact um i could definitely definitely tell so but yeah man it's beautiful out there um they got like one of those uh ah, gosh it's a uh thing for like deer hunting just zoom in so you can see the ladder right here so you can kind of sit up there and do your deer hunting so yeah man we are out here in the wilderness <laughs> Sir, big old tundra. Wherever I go, you best believe the tundra's going. All right, so this is the shop. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what Project 240 is inside. Got the Project 240 SX here. Got the custom engine paint job inside is gutted out custom wire harness custom steering wheel completely gutted out got the five three fresh from the machine shop. A few minutes later. Let's drink clean, man. Completely rebuilt from bottom end to top end. Yeah. What's going on, G? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? You know, you know. Back at it again. With another one. You know, you know. Yeah, you, so you, right now we're just putting on this, um, getting the spindle together, the dual caliber setup. I did it in one of my other previous videos. And I'm just setting everything back up again for this. Another 5.3 coming soon. As you can see, the engine head coming. So that's coming on there. We're going to finish turning that down. And to see what problems this thing had before it finally went up. And was that the one from like the Woody's Open? Yeah, that's Woody's Open. Go back up and say that in summer. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. so that's the one we was using for spares for our motor, like different bolts and stuff. Gotcha. But I got a lot of them bolts. Um, pretty much just putting this car back together because we have a Honda coming. So stay tuned, guys. Yeah, so a lot of work is done. I got to put the dual calibers on between today and tomorrow or on Tuesday. And I got to push this thing out. 
that trailer has got all the um the part um all the stuff that I didn't want. Oh the scrap metal. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to get for us to do between here and my mother and my father's house. So that's all the scrap metal. Scrap metal, baby. Transmission. <laughs> Another transmission, Honda baby. Oh, Another that's that. Uh, that's the other Honda yeah. transmission. Yeah. <laughs> Not picking up the. The transmission. Yeah, that's the transmission at this point because it's too far forward. Like that, the something back. See what I mean right here? See what I got the wood right? And not where the jack is. Got it. Still doing videos. Just. Banking on videos, slowly but surely working on this for whatever I have around because money is an issue. But stay tuned for the merch. It's coming soon, baby. Stay tuned. The merch is coming, guys. Stay tuned, man. It's coming so soon. You guys ain't going to see it coming. All right. Underneath him, man. Oh, I man. see a lot so, of good stuff. Right here. I ain't seen nobody do it in a long time. So, underneath of here, we have a S14 subframe um, with all with all um, 350Z like diff axles. It's been put underneath of here. Diff and um, axles. Yep. Yeah. Diff and axles is put on here. We are running with SRR um, suspension and guard speed suspension on here. That's what I'm talking about. And these are some Japan coilovers. Okay. I don't know the name of the terminal brand of that, but yeah, we have that for Japan. This Godspeed. This is ISIS, as they used to call themselves. So, yeah. You can always tell for the ISIS colors. ISIS, ISIS, and Godspeed, and Godspeed. Upper and lower control ones. That's what's up. This car is literally just about in its final stages of getting done. Almost in the final stages, guys. Come on now. Just gotta find my wiring guy. We gotta wire things up. I got a few plumps and things up. Drop this motor in. Apparently, look for another transmission. We ready to roll. We are ready to roll. Man, this is the real deal. This is the real deal, holy field. Yeah. Telling you, man. Got his new uh all his yeah, wiring. I don't really want to do a sit down video with that horse. And the thing about this guys is that George did this all by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, I can't we'll, take all the credit. Right, I right, had right. the help. I had support. I got Brenton. You know. I got Fry. You know. I got TJ. Okay. You know, I got Emmanuel. Right, got Woody. I even got Woody. My so man. I had support. I still get support. You it's know. just me reaching out to these guys sometimes. But, the road, they man. is. Come on, man. And, and he started off with a fully assembled vehicle, stripped yeah it down to the bare metal every wire and every chair every panel yes. everything was out of this vehicle he took out and he rebuilt it yes. with the assistance of everybody else yes. but man i'm telling you man this is amazing work but tell him man it is not easy no it's, it's not it takes a lot of money and a lot of time like you gotta go into this for a game plan so tell us, man, what's going on with the motor, man? Man, this motor right here. So we got a 5.3. Um, well, 5.3 come out of a truck motor. Um, Which one? Which one? Chevy Tahoe. Chevy like Tahoe. My old Chevy Tahoe. Okay. Guys, for my old subscribers. For, you know, your old subscribers that see the Tahoe that I used to have. Um, basically, this oil pressure sensor that's in the back here, one up. When it went up, it dropped the oil pressure. I thought for sure my motor was shot. 
Come to find out, no, it wasn't. Once I went to go pull it, it was just this bad boy that basically cracked right around here. It cracked on the bottom end. So I just replaced this one. I got all new sensors on here I replaced. Um, but basically I'm running a stage four cam in here from Texas Speed. Um, I got some 799 heads on here for better compression, better flow, better air ratio coming in. Stock bottom end, stock cam, pretty much. Oh, and um, LS, LS7 lifters just running on this right now. I um, mean, this is just like a mild top end build. So I want to see, hopefully, hopefully I make like 450. Gosh, man, that's going to be sick with a yeah. V8 motor and this thing, man, pushing 400 horses. That's going to be fun. This one right here, this is the gold dream getter right here. This is the one right here I want to push for about a thousand horsepower. A thousand, okay. This so this is going to be the fully built. The fully built one, gotcha. Fully built from ground up. That's going to something, 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 something that um only my friends would know what I'm going to probably pick up. They okay. remember me seeing me with it. I love this car. You know, I got to stay true to where I come from. Chevy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be it right there, yes. man. Yes, sir. You're going to bring it back. Bring yes. it back. All right, guys. Let me, let me step out in the light real quick, man. So, y'all, now y'all seen it, man. Y'all seen the video, man. So check my boy George out, man. Check out his YouTube channel, Low and Slow Garage, baby. Man, that was a good word from him for everybody that's out there that's trying to get into the project game. Trust and believe me. In due time, you'll get there. Don't rush it. And you know what I'm saying? You know, just got to budget. Keep budging, keep budging, keep budging. Don't give up. Keep budging. Eventually, man, you'll get there to something like that, baby. Golly, G man, you see this these clouds, man. And then it's it's, it's you feel that wind? Yeah. That's that storm wind. Coming, kicking in. Exactly, man. We about to get hit with a a, a rain and lightning storm. So guys, definitely don't forget hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be out here in the rain for you guys. Say. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> oh yeah it's definitely getting windy exactly right right it definitely did but they said it said it's supposed to they said it's not supposed to be until a couple of minutes, but that wind is telling me. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Man, it just started pouring down right now. Golly. I don't know if we got that on cam, but. <sighs> We're going to get out of here because they got this tree over there. You guys can see it on the bottom of the tree. That whole tree is just pretty much split open. So, we ain't trying to get stuck. Back up so he can get out. Man, I picked the the best time to go out in the, uh, in the boondocks, as we say. Perfect time. Especially Due to the fact that the road ahead of me is it's nothing but trees, man. Nothing but trees. So uh, let me get off this phone and try to navigate. Because we got some big trees that's ahead of me. And those trees, uh, let me just tell you, they don't look too healthy. <laughs> they don't look too healthy. All right, guys. Yes. Hope you guys like the channel. Joy, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, low and slow garage, man. Yep.